Which Battlestar Galactica cast member nearly died after he was mugged and stabbed in 1972? Which actor was credited as the first black TV newsman in the world? And who participated in a fake wedding with Queen's frontman, Freddie Mercury? These are just a few interesting tidbits we'll uncover today as we catch up with the original cast of 1978's Battlestar Galactica. Thanks for tuning back in to Hollywood Revisited. My name is Marion, and we've got a lot to cover, so let's get rolling. Number 1. Lorne Green Leon Hemon Green, better known as Lorne Green, is best known for his role as Ben Cartwright in NBC's massively popular television series Bonanza, which ran from 1959 until 1973. The Canadian actor acquired a skill for broadcasting from Queen's University while working with the campus radio station. Although he had begun to pursue a degree in chemical engineering, upon graduation he found a job as a radio broadcaster for the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. After serving in World War II, Green was assigned as the principal newsreader for the CBC National News and was given the name The Voice of Canada. His listeners, however, nicknamed him The Voice of Doom because of the somber news he regularly had to deliver about the war. He was cast to narrate several documentaries but decided to relocate to the United States instead, where he was cast in several Broadway productions and television series. Lauren capitalized on his country western role as Cartwright. He recorded several albums and even had one number one single on the music charts called Ringo. After the cancellation of Bonanza in 1973, he continued to appear in TV and commercials until finally landing the role of Commander Adama in Battlestar Galactica. Before Bonanza made him a household name, Green married Rita Hands in 1938. The couple had twins, a boy and a girl, before the divorce in 1960. He was married to Nancy Deal from 1961 until his death in 1987. They had one daughter, Jillian Green, who happens to be married to the world-renowned director, Sam Raimi. Lorne devoted his time and energy to the environment and wildlife conservation in his later years. His final film role was in 1987's The Alamo, 13 Days to Glory. He is credited with the invention of the original countdown clock found on Hollywood sets. Green also received many awards and accolades during his life including stars on both Hollywood's Walk of Fame and Canada's Walk of Fame. He even received the OC, which designates someone as an officer of the Order of Canada for his services to the performing arts community. Lauren Green passed away from complications from pneumonia on September 11, 1987 in Santa Monica. Number 2. Richard Hatch Before establishing his acting career, Richard Hatch had hoped to become a professional pole vaulter. Allegedly, he had never considered acting because of his insecurities and his shy personality. After the assassination of President Kennedy, however, he delivered a related article in an oral interpretation course, which he credits to sparking his desire to become an actor. Hatch began his career as a stage actor at the Los Angeles Repertory Theater, as well as in shows in Chicago and New York City. Richard was married to Joe Marie Distante for a few short years, although the exact date of their union was never revealed. They had one son together, Paul, before the divorce. Paul was born in 1967, and he followed his father's footsteps, becoming an actor himself. After his divorce, Hatch dated Sophie Laporte, a producer and writer. They were very private about their relationship and remained married until his death. Although Hatch went on to play in more standard dramas, such as the 1980s TV movie The Hustler of Muscle Beach and 1989's Leathernecks, he poured much of his effort into the sci-fi genre and even led revival efforts for Battlestar Galactica. Throughout his life, he remained very dedicated to the Battlestar Galactica fanbase. He wrote novels and comic books based on the series, attended conventions, and even led an adventure cruise in the Western Caribbean every winter. Richard eventually wrote and starred in Battlestar Galactica The Second Coming, a trailer for a possible revival. The project was never approved, although the production team revamped the concept creating the 2004 reboot series, Battlestar Galactica. Hatch had a recurring role in the series as Tom Zarek, a charismatic terrorist turned politician. Richard Hatch passed away on February 7, 2017, in Los Angeles, California at the age of 71 due to pancreatic cancer. He was cremated and his ashes were released at Echo Park Lake in Los Angeles. Number 3. Dirk Benedict Benedict was born and raised in Montana, far away from Hollywood's influence. In his freshman year at college, he accepted a dare to audition for a part in the college's production of the musical Showboat. He landed the lead role, thus launching his acting career. Benedict had a tumultuous childhood. After his parents divorced, his mother was granted a restraining order that prevented his abusive father from visiting the children in their home. 
Tensions built as Benedict continued to avoid his father over the years. One day, after Benedict turned his father down to go fishing, his enraged father traveled to his ex-wife's home and stormed in. During the incident, Benedict's older brother, Roy, shot and killed their father. Roy also nearly shot Benedict, who had entered the home after their father. Unable to process the event, Benedict delusionally pretended his father was alive and well during his college years. After college, Benedict made his film debut in 1972's Georgia, Georgia. He continued to act in both film and television. He received his big break, however, when he landed the role of Lieutenant Starbuck in the Battlestar Galactica series. In 1974, Benedict was diagnosed with a prostate tumor. His doctors recommended surgically removing the cancerous growth, but Benedict refused and claims to this day to have cured his cancer by following a macrobiotic diet, which he stuck to throughout his life. He married fellow actress Toni Hudson in 1986, and they had two sons together. After their divorce nine years later, he gained custody of his two sons and took them home to Montana, where he raised them in a 900-square-foot log cabin. In 1998, he was contacted by a man named John Talbert and learned that John was his 28-year-old son from a previous relationship and had been placed for adoption without Benedict's knowledge. The two started exchanging letters, later meeting in person. Eventually, they developed a close relationship. Benedict went on to play Templeton Peck in the popular NBC TV series, The A-Team, from 1983 to 1987. He also had a brief cameo in the A-Team's 2010 movie remake as Milt, a Pensacola prisoner. Benedict's most recent appearance was in the 2020 movie, Charlie's Christmas Wish. There are rumors that Benedict plans to officially retire from the industry, and his loyal fans created the hashtag, Thank you, Dirk which was trending on Twitter in December of 2022. His net worth is estimated to be $1.5 million. Number four, John Colicos. John Colicos began his career on the stage, appearing in hundreds of productions on three different continents. He was well known for his Shakespearean roles. He appeared in prominent roles in both television and film, including the 1966 CBS soap opera, The Secret Storm, and the 1969 film, Anne of the Thousand Days, in which he played Thomas Cromwell. Colicos was married to Mona McHenry in 1956 until 1981. During that time, they had two children together. One of his sons, Nicholas Colicos, also chose to pursue an acting career and has been credited in 20 different acting roles. John played the first ever on-screen Klingon, where he guest starred in one episode of the 1960s Star Trek series. He reprised that role as Commander Kor in the 1994 series Star Trek Deep Space Nine. This role became the second longest recurring character to have been played by one actor in the Star Trek franchise. John made his first appearance as Commander Kor in Star Trek in March 1967 and made his final appearance in the role in November 1998, more than 31 years later. After Battlestar Galactica, John continued featuring in a wide range of films and TV series. He starred in the 1980s movie The Changeling and featured in 13 episodes of General Hospital and 22 episodes of X-Men The Animated Series. John Colicus passed away on March 6, 2000 in Toronto, Canada at the age of 71 after a series of heart attacks. Number 5. Marin Jensen Jensen began her career as a model, appearing on the covers of both Vogue and Mademoiselle. Her first venture into acting was for ABC's television mystery series, The Hardy Boys slash Nancy Drew Mysteries, in which she continued to feature after being cast in Battlestar Galactica. Jensen was in a longtime relationship with singer-songwriter Don Henley from The Eagles. Later, she reportedly married John Kugelberg, but the couple separated after just a few years. She never had any children. John Henley's 1982 solo album, I Can't Stand Still, was dedicated to Jensen. Her last known role was in 1981's horror film, Deadly Blessing, alongside Sharon Stone. She retired from acting in 1981 after contracting Epstein-Barr syndrome and started her own protein bar company, Glow Beauty Fuel, in New York City. Today, her estimated net worth is $1 million. Number 6. Noah Hathaway Hathaway's career started at the age of three when he appeared in several television commercials. He was considered a teen idol and gained huge popularity in Europe during his adolescent years. His first major role was Boxy in Battlestar Galactica, but some might better recognize Hathaway from his role as a Treyu in the 1984 fantasy film The NeverEnding Story. Hathaway was previously married to Samira Hodison, a makeup artist. They had two children together. After their divorce, he married Kayla Hathaway, and the two are fairly active on Instagram, with a 2022 post announcing that they had recently had the chance to work together on the same film. 
Since the 1980s, aside from accepting a few lower-budget acting gigs here and there, Hathaway has earned black belts in Tang Soo Do and Shotokan Karate. He is also a motorcycle enthusiast, competing in designing chopper motorcycles. His estimated net worth today is $2 million. Number 7. Herbert Jefferson Jr. Jefferson graduated with honors from New York's American Academy of Dramatic Arts in 1969. After playing Lieutenant Boomer in Battlestar Galactica, he's had a number of supporting roles in television and film. Most notably, he had a minor role in the award-winning film Apollo 13 in 1995, which won an award at the Screen Actors Guild for outstanding performance by a cast member. Jefferson is a very private person. Not much is known about his wife, but he is the father of fashion stylist Rebecca Jefferson, who has worked with many celebrities, including Jada Pinkett Smith. In his last credited role, he cameoed as Admiral Grant Satterley in the pilot episode of the web-based series Star Trek Renegades in 2015. His estimated net worth is $1 million. Number 8. Tony Swartz Swartz's first acting credit was in the 1976 American Western television film Dynasty, in which he played the character Harry Blackwood. He appeared in the action crime drama television series Kojak, which aired on CBS from 1973 to 1978. Swartz married Helen Bloom and they had one daughter together. After playing Sergeant Jolly, he briefly appeared in NBC's The Golden Girls. He withdrew from acting in the late 1980s, his only credited role afterwards being the 1992 TV movie Crash Landing, The Rescue of Flight 232. Not much is known about Swartz after he left the limelight, but multiple reports have confirmed that he continued working in the film industry as a location scout and transportation department driver. Tony Swartz died on September 27, 2016 in Kansas City due to complications from a lung biopsy. He was 73 at the time of his passing. Number 9. Lorette Spang Spang has been interested in acting since her high school days, when she took a speech course. At the age of 16, she accompanied her father on a business trip to New York and spent that time waiting outside the set of Dark Shadows, hoping for a chance to meet actress Catherine Lee Scott. Luckily, one of the stage guards did allow her to meet her idol. Spang would later help answer Scott's fan mail throughout her high school years. Spang acted in numerous television series from the 1970s until the early 1980s. She first appeared in NBC's medical drama, The Bold Ones, The New Doctors, in an episode called Is This Operation Necessary? in 1972. She also played Helen White in the 1973 television film Winesburg, Ohio. Spang married actor John McCook in 1980. The couple have three children together, including actress Molly McCook. Molly is best known for her role in the TV series Last Man Standing. Spang took a long hiatus from acting starting in 1984, although she made a brief comeback in the 2007 horror movie Plot 7. It appears that she has since left the industry for good. She keeps fans up to date on her family through her Instagram account, where she often posts photos of their get-togethers. Her estimated net worth is $1 million. Number 10. Terry Carter Before venturing into the film industry, Carter was a weekend newscaster for WBZ-TV in Boston from 1965 to 1968. He is credited as the world's first black television news anchor. He was originally cast as Lieutenant Boomer in Battlestar Galactica, but had to be cut when he fractured his ankle in a roller skating accident. Carter has been married three times and has two children with his first wife. He's been married to Salome Sanebi de Coste since 2009. In 1988, Carter directed a musical documentary in the American Masters series called A Duke Named Ellington. The episode was nominated for an Emmy Award, with the exception of his role in the 2012 spy film Hamilton in the Interest of the Nation. Carter seems to have retired from acting. His estimated net worth is $1 million. Number 11. John Fink Fink first gained recognition for his portrayal of Dr. Adam Hudson in the NBC sitcom Nancy from 1970 to 1971. He was initially billed as a supporting actor in Battlestar Galactica, as his story arc was a huge part of Jane Seymour's space cancer B story, but the majority of the scenes were not included in the final cut. He was married to Charlotte Flinterman from 1966 until her death in 2014. They have four children. Fink took a long break from the industry from 1978 to 1989 after his daughter was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer. As she was being treated, Fink developed an interest in alternative therapies, and he even authored a book in 1988 titled Third Opinion, an international directory to alternative therapy treatment centers. Fink made a comeback in the 1990 hit film Flatliners, 
He appeared as a deputy in 1995's Batman Forever and was frequently cast in other Joel Schumacher films as well. His last film appearance was in the 2007 film The Number 23. It appears that he has since retired from the industry. His estimated net worth is $1 million. Number 12. Ed Begley Jr. Begley was already a known actor before he played Green Bean in Battlestar Galactica. In fact, he has over 330 acting credits throughout his career. He has never taken an acting hiatus since his debut in 1969. A few of his notable projects include 2008's Pineapple Express, 2009's Whatever Works, and 2016's Ghostbusters. Bagley was married to Ingrid Taylor from 1976 to 1989, and the couple had two children. He has been married to actress and producer Rochelle Carson since 2000. They have one daughter together, Hayden, who is an aspiring actress. In 1972, Ed nearly died after being stabbed multiple times during a street gang mugging. His attackers were later apprehended by the police. He's an avid environmental activist and has claimed to be in competition with personal friend Bill Nye to see who can have the lowest carbon footprint. In 2016, he was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, but remains active in the film industry. His estimated net worth is $1 million. Number 13. Jane Seymour Seymour gained international recognition for playing the psychic Bond girl, Solitaire, in the James Bond film Live and Let Die in 1973. She won a Primetime Emmy Award in 1976 for her role in Captains and Kings. She received further acclaim, winning a Golden Globe for her portrayal of the titular character in the hugely popular television series Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, which aired from 1993 to 1998. Seymour has been married four times, although each of her marriages has ended in divorce. She has four children. The accomplished actress even branched out of the film industry and has authored multiple books, including children's books. Her roles in the fashion industry are notable as well. She's been an ambassador for CC Fashion and has even designed a line of jewelry with Kay Jewelers. Seymour made headlines when, for the finale of a fundraising fashion show, she took part in a fake marriage with rock icon Freddie Mercury, Queen's lead singer. Her estimated net worth is $60 million, by far the largest of anyone on our list. Number 14. Sarah Rush Rush gained fame for 11 episodes in Battlestar Galactica. She earned a bachelor's degree in theater at Penn State University and was mentored by famous actor Don Adams early in her career. Rush appeared in several television series and films in the 70s and 80s, such as 1978's Incredible Hulk and the 1980s spy comedy film The Nude Bomb. Rush was married twice, although both relationships ended in divorce. She had one daughter, Amanda, with ex-husband Fred Bova. Rush had a minor role in 2002's Catch Me If You Can and 2003's Legally Blonde 2, Red, White and Blonde. Her last acting credit was in the 2011 indie movie Fred and Vinny. Rush's estimated net worth is between one to three million dollars. Number 15, Anne Lockhart. Lockhart's career started at the age of four in 1958. She was nominated for an Academy Award for her performance as Annie in the short film Tea is for Tumbleweed. She made over 60 guest appearances in network television shows such as Knight Rider, Simon and Simon, and Murder, She Wrote. She has lent her voice for many series and films over the years, including Osmosis Jones, Chicken Little, and Tangled. She continues to be active in the industry today. Lockhart comes from a family of actors. She is the daughter of actress June Lockhart, who was credited as Alpha Control in 2021's Lost in Space. Her grandparents, Jean and Kathleen Lockhart, were famous actors from the golden age of Hollywood. Lockhart was married to Adam C. Taylor in 1986 until his tragic death in 1994 due to a motorcycle accident. They had a son and a daughter together. Lockhart's estimated net worth is $2 million. Thanks for revisiting the cast of Battlestar Galactica with us. Let us know in the comments below who your favorite cast member is and why. But the big question now is, which of these two videos are you going to watch next? I think you'll enjoy the top one, but then again, the bottom one might surprise you. Either way, it's your choice. See you in the next one.